guys, it's Miss Gravener and Mistress Quieter. And today we are going to talk about the Eastern Woodland Indians some more. We are going to talk how, about how they interacted with their environment and how they adapted with the different seasons. I know, for instance, Mr. Swider, that I don't always do the same thing in every season. For instance, in summer, I like to swim, but I wouldn't want to do that in the winter. No, no. Unless you're a polar bear. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Okay. So the first season we're going to talk about is spring. In the spring, the eastern woodland Indians often picked berries, right? They would go fishing, and they used a variety of methods to catch their fish. And they also did lots of hunting. Okay? Okay. In the summer, they were busy. They had a lot to do. They planted corn, beans, and squash. These are called the Three Sisters, CBN. Nice, good network. Corn, beans, and squash. They also hunted, fished, and here you can see that they're planting, the Native American children are planting these crops here, and they're taking care of them so they would grow. But it's very important, you're going to find out in the next slide why it's important that these crops would grow. So next is the fall. And fall was super important to the Eastern Woodland Indians because the things that they did in the fall kept them alive in the winter. So in the fall, they harvested their crops. So we talked about the corn, the beans, and the squash, okay? And just in case you don't know, harvest means that they were picking their crops. Here's, some, here's a picture of some of the Indians picking corn, okay? Well, the next step after they harvested was storing that food for the winter. So they would put them in baskets and keep them so they could eat them in the winter when they didn't have as much food. In the fall, they also did some hunting, okay? This picture and this picture. And they prepared lots of other things for winter. Now, the last season, winter, they were very limited. They really couldn't fish. So what they did, they would hunt birds, deer, and small animals. This is a rabbit, maybe a squirrel. But they would survive on, like Ms. Kramer said, some of the food they stored here. This is a picture here. The food's being dried. So they would eat that until spring came around, and then they would start over. Um, with the process. The lions on that side? Bye. 